doing with my stuff and like my foray into experimental bass music period I think that really just kind of solidified me kind of digging deeper into bass music and dubstep and trap and just really embedding myself in it and that's essentially kind of like how my sound developed from that point onwards so definitely sleep by Ricky Sand Hydraulics <laughs> Outside of electronic music, right now for me it's Erase Me by Lizzie McAlpine and Jacob Collier. the entirety of five seconds flat I've pretty much recommended it to everybody I know and so that album is just a really big part of like what I do creatively now but also I saw and knock are literally the future of electronic music so that's really just my opinion of course but those are some of my favorites I would have to say it would be The Weeknd by Michael Gray. I don't know why, it's a very old, very nostalgic song, but it's still very upbeat, and it's like, you know, the lyrics are like, I can't wait for the weekend to begin. That exact moment when you get out of school or you get out of work and you're just like, oh my God, I have no obligations, I have nothing else to do, and that song embodies that feeling perfectly and it just makes you want to shake around a little bit. <laughs> probably say Refined by Lax City. That's just kind of like the song that I listen to every now and again when I'm like in a mood and I need something chill to listen to to kind of ease my nerves. Album, but I would definitely say Night Hearts by ISOXO and Knock 2 just because the way they were able to kind of like take each other's entire projects and like flip it in such unique ways is really really crazy. <laughs> And then EP, I would definitely have to say, um, I think the name of it is Long Hair Loud Snare by Rico Harbour. That whole EP is full of the craziest and most unique ideas that I've ever heard in electronic music. Um, I love listening to that project. I recently got back into it because I was on a Rico Harbour binge when I was looking for stuff to include in these sets. And so I love Rico Harbor a lot, and that EP is one that has literally no misses whatsoever. My guilty pleasure song. I would have to say recently, just because I've been showing it to my friends for fun, but low-key getting into it a little bit when I do show it to them. The Cupcake Remix of Good Puss by Cobra. I was in a meeting with my record label founder and the general manager and we had showed him that song for the first time and he just had the most shocked expression on his face the whole time and it was the funniest shit on the planet. I just wanna feel good, gotta lay down Cause I'm good cush, got a good girl A real good push, come and go get A real good push I just wanna feel good, gotta lay down With some good cush, got a good girl A real good push, come and go get A real good push At the moment, um It's one of my own IDs <laughs> 
I go back to it all the time. It's it's something that we're like really trying to work our asses off to put out as soon as possible. I actually teased it in the Saturate London promo video. <laughs> this really old Carrie Hilson song that I used to love listening to when I was a little kid. I go back to it all the time when I'm on car trips or airplane rides because it just gets me through and I love listening to it on repeats. The last song that I liked was please don't be something horny. Oh, perfect. Um, it is the new Fori and Luna Lenta remix of Still Here by Skrillex, Porter Robinson, and BB uh, Borelli. I love the original song. That entire album of Skrillex's is probably one of the coolest dance projects to come out this year. And Still Here was like the perfect closing track. I love New Fori a lot. I've never heard of Luna Lenta prior to me listening to this remix, but whatever they did Whoa. together, they meshed together so well and created such a fun, bouncy, and energetic remix that I really love. Honestly, very like comparable to the original. Like it's it, it holds it holds its own against the original in a very unique way, while also keeping the integrity of the original song. So yeah, that was the last track that I liked.